the Kasari Villa, which is good for 15 people. Oh wow! Say hello! <laughs> Ah, ito yung CR. Ah, pititin daw yun yung pititin. Pititin dito sa kapila. Ah, yung kaya. Aside from the villa, guests can also pitch tents as well as avail their cute fan room huts which provides you with a glamping experience. Here's the top 6 relaxing things to do here in Payet Beach and Farm Resort. I can feel it Somewhere inside haunting Like a drug I keep on wanting There's a love that fits so perfect It's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling Like someone's with me it's strange, I know, but I feel like you're here with me, like chasing goals, I know you're out there. Because the resort is 6 hours away from Manila, the very first thing you would do here is to boodle fight. You can also ask the resort staffs to cook for you which costs 200 per dish and they will prepare a boodle set up for you. The second relaxing thing to do in the resort is to sing. Be ready with your list of song choices as the resort offers free unlimited video key. In the afternoon, walk on the seabed during low tide, watch the beautiful sunset, pick up some shells, and be amazed at the different sea creatures you will find along the way. Hey guys, it's about sunset now. And so we're walking. It's low tide at the moment. So we're just struggling along the beach, uh, finding a place which is a bit deeper so that we could swim. And while we're doing that, we're picking up small shells along the way. And here's the sunset. I was going to show you. There is the beautiful sunset. Super nice and relaxing here. This is a blue starfish. I don't know why, but these sea urchins are really creepy. Oh my gosh. We are walking and walking and walking towards the rock formations at the end of the beach. Um, this is also where they do cliff jumping here in Payad Beach Resort. And then, um, it's where you could go swimming as well because... The area is much deeper. Number four in the list of activities to do here that levels it all up is the cliff jumping. A 
Another fun thing to do here is to connect with the locals and other guests of the resort over bonfire. Last but not the least, for more fun and swimming under the sun, avail the island hop adventure going to the Death Pool and Kabongawan Beach area. That costs 100 pesos per person. They also offer boat rides to three different islands near the area, which costs 500 pesos per person. <music> 